Oh my gosh. There was a giant fish that just looked at that. That's a nice fish. That's the nicest bite I've had. Special spike. Yeah, that's beautiful. leaving the portage or the, uh, the put-in on Three-Legged Lake. Three-Legged Lake is a cottage, a cottage lake just before the portage to go into the park. And the portage goes into Spider Lake. It's only a, a 370 and it just goes up a hill and back down. Nice little jog. I haven't set up any of my fishing gear <clears throat> um, or anything like that. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go to camp, set up, and, <clears throat> and then set all my fishing gear up. A little snack, maybe a margarita, and, uh, and then head out for a late afternoon evening fish on Spider Lake. I was here last year on Spider. Great smallmouth and pike fishing and I'm looking forward to getting into some more of that again. maiden voyage on this lake. I just saw a couple coming out of that little narrows there and um, they were in there for eight days. The weather's been pretty on and off. A bit of rain the last week. And I said, you're leaving just as it's getting sunny. And they said they had great fishing. And I asked them what they were using and they wouldn't tell me. It's not the fisherman's way. It's not. Share the knowledge talk about what they're feeding on, where they are, how they're moving, you know, one day you're going to be stumped. And uh, you're going to need to ask somebody. And um, <clears throat> hopefully they tell you. <laughs>
All right, so here's the site here. Got to adjust the hammock a little bit. <clears throat> but that'll do for tonight. There's not many hang points. And this is right by right by camp here. I'm cool with that. Got some sumacs here in the foreground, nice and high off the water. The boat's over there. <clears throat> There's a little fire pit down in the uh, down on that flat rock there. <clears throat> but the narrows are over here that go to the north part of Spider Lake. And there's a nice shoal over there that I'm going to go fish. So down that way is Clear Lake. There's the Warden Station. Um, it's not bad. I mean, we don't have that afternoon sun or evening sun, but... You know, there's a picnic table over here too. And some, uh, oh, some poison ivy. like a bit of a fight. I would not want to tango with a snapping turtle. Hello friend. The same idea I do. Oh, okay, we got a fish on here. It's a pretty good tug. Don't really know what it is. I'm making some room. It's gonna see the boat here. Oh, it's a pike. All right, size little pike. I'm gonna try and just hand it. Oh, it really ate it. Whoa. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's in there, but I think I can do uh... Oh, that was nice. That really came out nicely. All right, first fish. That's my first pike here. Well, that's great. And uh, yeah, so there we go. It's about 20, 24. There you go. <laughs> on the board that's great all right good size pike I'd say it's 24 25 I really tugged off the start really smoked it um, trolling on the husky jerk to head to bed here. It's about 11. Um, the stars are pretty big tonight. Super stable weather, clear skies for the next five, six days. So 
Nice to be in the midst of that. Had a really nice night out on Spider Lake. Uh, just kind of checking it out. Uh, had it flirted with a couple beavers. They didn't like me in their presence and um, splashing me up. Really close to shore too, which I didn't get on film, but they would hang out in the in the lily pad, smash right beside me, and it always scares the shit out of me. Because initially, I think it's a fish, like some giant pike, just freaking out. But no, it's just beavers being like, we don't like you here, go away. And I like that about them. I like how intense they are. <clears throat> but I uh, got a bit of that on film. It's kind of a magical night. There's dragonflies and damselflies sort of dancing all over the place. And, and uh, life is just kind of fertile here. It's a healthy ecosystem here, and it's nice to be a part of that tonight. And there's a half moon out. There's a nice sunset. The lake's sort of divided almost equally, like between east and west, or south facing, north facing. And you know, just one side of the lake was dark, and then the other side was um, juxtapo juxtaposed with, with light, and it made for a really, really sort of bright, energetic evening. Um, Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, going out to the Georgian Bay, and I uh, haven't been on this particular portage, nor have I been in the southern part of Spider or Clear Lake, which I'm going to tomorrow, so looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, this, this place is it's beautiful, it's great. There's, there's nobody really around, there's like somebody like five sites down, about a kilometer away, and I haven't seen anyone up here, so should be a nice night. A good sleep and uh, looking forward to just relaxing, waking up tomorrow, fishing on the way there, and seeing what the day holds. Oh, oh no, lost it. Oh, that was a nice fish. Oh. Another fish on. Feels pretty chunky. Up yet, so it's oh, 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 it's just a little pike. Oh, girthy, girthy little guy. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice little fish. Another chunky pike. This is uh, Magic Alley almost here. That's pretty painless. Yeah, great fish. Yeah, nice healthy pike right there. And 
off it goes. Well, it's uh, 10.40. Oh, there's a spider on the camera there. I wonder if it's going to pass in front of the lens. It's uh, 10.40 and I'm still on spider. I'm going to make my way down to uh, the portage. I have to decide as to whether I want to do a one portage as a 740 or do a 90, 120, 450. And that goes out of Clear Lake. I think what I'll do tomorrow is come into Clear Lake the other way. So either way I'm going to see the portage on either side of it. So I think I'll just do the one today as I head out to um, the bay side and uh, go to site 206 which I was at last year. Beautiful site. Hopefully there's a bit more of a beach this year. Um, really nice in there. And it's a place where boats aren't allowed to dock as mentioned before. Or moor and swing around. But who knows, maybe my buddy Joe is there checking out that spider. So I'm going to head over there. I'm going to fish the whole way. Eat some nuts and some of this delicious dried mango and apple that I made a month ago and then froze it. And it's doing really well. Like this is pro grade. Pro grade. Just did a pass on this corner here. Sandy corner. Feels like a pike. It's pretty good. That uh, kind of feels like the other one. But uh, I had a hit, turned the camera on, lost it. Ooh. Oh, look at that. T bone. Whoa, it's coming at me. I've only been using this 20 pound floral leader and I think it's uh, doing me well. I'm gonna do this guy the same way. Look at that T-bone. Just side cocked it. Some nice pike in here. Very girthy. I'm not gonna stick my hands in there. I'm going to measure this guy. It's about the same as the last one. And, uh, all right. So yeah, looking at 25, 25. Another one, almost the same size. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Well, I got two hits there. I think I'm going to try it again. I'd keep one of these, but um, I'm portaging, so I don't really want to carry a stinky pike across a portage. So hopefully I get one bayside. So we're heading down a little channel here into South Spider Lake. You get to see the site that I'm staying on tomorrow, which will be kind of cool. So it's about 3K, 3.5K to the portage, and I'm just going to do the 740 or 780 or whatever it is. Two trips, boom, boom, and I'll be out on the bay.
Oh my god. Oh, it's just a pike. It's a pike hooked in the side. Oh, it's a nice pike. she goes so just to show you guys uh, what I caught this on this is a lucky strike it is um, a hand hammered like four inch spoon it's machine hammered I really like this for lake trout and that's what I was using it for and then as I was reeling it in I was reeling it in quite quickly a pike hit and it was 28 inches nice pike and um, <clears throat> anyway I like that so what I have this setup is this rod so this is just a regular cod rod that's fitted with this spring piece in the end like the great lakes rods and i'm using lead core so it's really about 200 feet of lead core and then i've got about 15 feet of this 20 uh, 20 pound fluoro on it and it works really well when you want to get deep because the lead core takes it deeper and as i was going through this southern part of um, spider lake I uh, look nice and open, so I thought I'd go for Lakers and got a nice pike sitting down there. So that's a good surprise. Another fish. <laughs> it's my first troll line on this rocky shore here. So I put the husky jerk back on and switched to something more shallow. Another pike. Fishery, I'm impressed. I'm going to uh, gonna hand bomb this guy. Or he'll shake off. Oh yeah. T-boning, this, this uh, husky jerk is getting worked. It is so beaten up just from last night and today. There she blows. Smallmouth, not a bad one. T-boned it too, wow. Nice smallmouth, probably 15, 12. 12. <clears throat> Smalley. We're at the Portage. It's only about one thirty great because you're supposed to vacate the sites at around 2. I give the other people lots of time because the site I'm going to was booked last night. There's a parks boat right there and it looks like a rocky docky. Rocky docky. Dock, dock, rock, rock dock. Rock dock. Here we go, first leg, 780, no big deal. And it smells like dry white pine needles. This 
is pretty fresh this year maybe maybe last fall Oh, you're good. Sorry. No, come through. You got a canoe in your head. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. I see you. I'm quite short. It's good. Thank you. Nice form. No worries. Were you the guys fishing in the kayaks? No. Nope. Just a canoe. Dinner person. <laughs> How's your trip going? Awesome. Good. Yours? Good, yeah. Yeah, good. Ah, yes. The mighty Georgian Bay. All right. Met a few people on the portage. Mel and I forget, but her son's name is Matt. Um, they're just cruising around. I'm headed to site 206 here on Georgian Bay. <clears throat> it's nice to be back on Georgian Bay. I haven't been here since last September. First cast on this shoal. What a day. They are just turned on. They're just turned right on. I love this husky jerk. This guy's hooked in the eye. Oh my gosh. There was a giant fish that just looked at that smaller fish. There's something, um, I'm gonna lift this guy up. Just a giant fish. This is a great little shoal. It's filled with weeds, rock. Anyway, there's another one. <laughs> Got a funky fin there. Looks a bit diseased. And away it goes. All right. New site. Nice little beach action. Some rocks. There's a bay in there that's got some pike with my name on it. And a gorgeous little sandy site. Look at all this wood that's been left. Oh man, this is wondrous. These tent pads are fantastic. Um, I will be in the hammock tonight and it's gonna go right here. Right here. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Gonna get busy working on camp and uh, make some iced tea. All right. All right. So my campsite's just over there, and I'm coming into this little bay here, little skinny, tiny bay. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna do some casting. Some casting around. It opens up into this sh super shallow area with, with a bunch of reeds <clears throat> just before Beaver Dam. And last year, <clears throat> there were a number of large pike in here and they went crazy. Well, we're gonna pop in over this dam, see what's up. Pretty weeded over, so I'm not going to bring the boat in. I'm uh, I'm just gonna do a few casts here. There's gotta be a few fish locked up in here.
pretty choked. Got a bass on here. Top water action. Oh, it's a pike. Top water pike. Okay. All right. Feisty. fishing days I've had in years. Um, it was good. The instinctual spots that you would choose to go for fish, main lake shoals, main lake points, um, weed lines, <clears throat> um, rocky shoals, just just all worked and they were really turned on to the um to the husky jerk didn't use anything well i was trying a bucktail and jitterbug and a whopper plopper but that was about it but it was a beautiful paddle through spider lake and then out to clear bay and then down here to 206. um just i'm gonna decide tomorrow what i'm gonna do and hang out here for Better part of the day, I think. This is a better site than site 22. So I th I'll probably leave at around one and then um, head up there and a couple portages. Ooh. And uh, a lot of paddling, a lot of fishing today. Yeah, it was up pretty early too. So looking forward to tomorrow. All right.
Okay, this is my minimalist breakfast setup here. I use an AeroPress that I bring. I, I bring this unless I'm camping with a number of people. I'll bring the, the GSI Bodum, but I bring the AeroPress. It all packs up into a nice, neat little travel case. If you haven't used an AeroPress before, um, it comes with um, filters. You can buy extra ones that go in this little uh, top, this little top piece. Uh, the filters are can be stored in here, and this all packs up nice and tight into this with this on top, and, um, and it's a nice little unit. I so in this minimalist setup, I'm only doing oats in the mornings. And um, so I'm using this for my oats. So this all packs up into one. I didn't bring a bowl or a plate or anything on this trip. <clears throat> so yeah, let's make some coffee. So I have the water boiled. so windy, the coffee grains are blowing off my spoon. And that's for tomorrow morning. So I've been using this uh, Tokes 750 mil titanium pot. And it's great because this mug fits right in here or the, the Tokes twig stove um, nests in there as well. It's super light. This is a really light mug. I really love this GSI mug more and more lately. I brought it on my last trip and it's just great. It also serves as a measuring cup. <clears throat> but yeah, so um, I really like this. It's perfect for coffee and oatmeal. It's sort of the right amount. Um, it's nice and light. And I enjoy using it. And when it boils, the, the lid makes this nice little, this little uh, alarm, kind of, with the, the lid just boiling off the top, like ding, 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 ding. And you can hear it anywhere in the campsite. So with this guy, just fill it up. And I'll do the oatmeal at the same time. Little apples and cinnamon, and cinnamon and spice, no big deal. Some left over. I think I'm going to make some green tea. And this guy. It's good to wet the filter. sit there for a little bit. It'll slowly percolate out, but it's called the AeroPress because you press it down. I also like this mug because it, it fits the AeroPress. And you push that out and you're left with like an espresso puck at the end. Add a little bit of this. Breakfast.
So this is a 475. Along a creek bed, which is kind of cool, which would be the outflow of Clear Lake into um, that bay back there. There's a very small trickle, but it's pretty stagnant on the other side. I'm sure it's a lot heavier in the spring. So Massasauga is split primarily into 25% of the park is wilderness. And that pretty much consists of Spider Lake and Clear Lake and the riparian boundary around that. Trail markers change colors. Um, the fishing yesterday was just exceptional. And uh, I'm looking forward to checking out Clear Lake, hoping or theorizing that the more portages that you are away from the launch, um, the better the fishing is. It's a beautiful portage. This can be probably parks. Oh, okay. spotting up there. That's a nice little chunk. See that rock? It's like a heart rock. The loving tree. The giving tree. out there. You can see it on the way through. Just got to go through this little wetland. The bruiser bath. Beauty small bath. 
Beauty, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. See you, buddy. Hey, nature lovers. <clears throat> that was nice catching that bass on the lunch break. I got a 165 portage here. And, uh, you know, I do have uh, underwear on my head. Um, but it feels nice, you know. And I don't think it's, uh, it's what you wear, it's how you wear it. I think I'm wearing it pretty well right now. Oh yeah, left me a short portage. So this is into a little pond here not spider it's a pond but it looks fishable wouldn't that be awesome Sorry. Excuse me? Yeah, hey, how's it going? Matt Lawson, Field Guide Outdoors. Yeah, it's good to meet you too. Oh, you, you like this? Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I just put it on today. You know, I was like, you know, there's a lot of deer flies and horse flies biting my neck, so I just put it on. Oh, yeah, I don't mind if you use this style. No, go right ahead. Yeah, okay, great. Have a great day. Sandy. Beauty.
Great song, guys. Awesome. Love the camp spirit. Uh, good morning. Um, just kind of poking around camp. Let's had a light breakfast. Just packing up here. Um, and about to head out. Going to be doing a little bit of fishing on the way and I'm meeting a couple of friends tonight so I got to get out fairly quickly. So <laughs> cut the fishing day way down. Last few days have been amazing fishing and have been uh, just great. You know, trusting my instincts as an angler, um, just having fun, being organized, you know, working hard enough during the day to get tired and just having a great time. Um, it's been a great trip so far. This paddle on the way out, I'll probably see these guys again because they're not moving too quickly. 